The ICOM radio management system is the radio solution for any organisation that really cares about security and staff safety. And here to tell us about it is Alan Andrews from ICOM. Alan, the point about this is you pull all your radio resources together under the control of a computer system. Exactly that. Integrating hand portables, badges, beacons, your computer with an existing server or an independent server. What businesses would benefit from using ICOM's radio management system? Any business in any sector that needs a health and safety reporting solution built into a radio system. And it's very flexible as well. Hugely flexible. Whether you've got a, a national technically assigned license, whether you're operating in a county, whether you're operating in a building, this is written in-house at ICOM UK and we can tailor it for your needs. For the person who's doing the dispatching sat at the screen, they can see a lot of information about the users and where they are and what they're doing. And that's where the beacons and the badges come in. Yes, um, the beacons are for giving you a zonal location um, to report back to the RMS net um, with a time and date stamp. So you put these around your business area and as the hand portable comes into range of them, it reports back as to where that radio is. They can be deployed internally or externally as they're waterproof, um, just as your end user sees fit. What about the badges? The badges are for a guard tour scenario, if you like. Um, they will give you an exact time and date stamp as the end user has to walk up to them, read the badge, which then deploys a message back to the software and time and date stamps. So it's very good in the sense that you can see that your staff are where they're supposed to be and even mark off that they've completed a particular task. Previously maybe a guard would have written his guard tour, or well, he may have written that from his cabin and not actually been anywhere. As these handhelds are able to provide this really accurate reporting from the beacons and from the badges, it's obviously no ordinary handheld. It's not an ordinary handheld, no, you're right. Um, there are specialist boards fitted into the handheld to um, give it that capability. What are the advantages of the remote IP dispatcher? The advantages are you can send pre-stored messages, um, you can free text, we've got a long report log which can store uh, an abundance of information. You can, obviously as we spoke of earlier, with the location device, um, very accurate, um, but you can also have a very accurate call log. So you can see where all the radios have been deployed, you can see who's been logged on or logged off the system, and it also records all of the voice traffic as well. It does, it does that. Um, you can, if there's a full conversation between different users, you can export those audio files to a CSV file so you don't have to keep push to talk, push to talk, and it lumps the whole conversation together. For example, if I'm just doing it here, I'm looking for PTT on, One, two, three. and I can play back your audio. That level of reporting is really useful from a health and safety point of view. You can look back at incidents of what happened, and it's also a very useful training aid for dealing with future incidents, but it also has an emergency function too. Yes, it does. On your radio, push the little red button, or there is a man down function built in. A man down function, what does that mean? <laughs> you can demonstrate this one, Bob. Okay. Imagine the scenario then, I'm walking down the stairs, get to the bottom, trip, oh, over I go. So, ah, we're now laying on the floor. The radio has a tilt sensor in it, so it knows that uh, I'm laying down flat, or the radio's laying down flat, and what it will do in a second, is it'll start counting down to sending its emergency message. There it goes. So if you've laid the radio flat by mistake, now is the moment to put it vertical. Otherwise, you are going to be telling everybody on the system and the dispatcher that you've got a problem. OK, so this is our emergency notification. I know that it's Bob. I know what the time is. I know it's a man down. And I know that he's by demo beacon too. The only way of properly clearing down this is from the radio. So I better go and find Bob. How are we doing, Bob? 
Paul? Yeah, I think so. And you can see that that's a really good safety aid because the point was that you couldn't cancel that emergency signal without Alan coming to actually check what had happened to the man down. Presumably, not everybody who's going to be using a desktop to integrate with the system is going to need all this logging information because this is a great management control tool, but not all your dispatchers will necessarily need that. No, in, in, a lot of, in a lot of scenarios, your dispatcher won't need this reporting. It's great to have it in the background for management, and that can be their privilege. But you can just have a push-to-talk functionality. So you could have people who just have that on their desktop in case they need to talk to the system, but they don't need the rest of it. Can we only have one remote dispatcher logged on, or can you have a number of desktop units connected into the system? We have, in fact, a number of different scenarios where we've got rooms of dispatchers talking to different user groups um, but if there is an emergency then they will all be informed of that. What if they're on different sites? I mean maybe you know you've got a warehouse on one site and a shop somewhere else. Yeah the system's robust enough to be able to connect via um, VPN. The radio part of the system is that digital or analog? You can have it with analog radios, digital radios or the both working together at the same time. So quite a good way to migrate to digital gradually if you wanted to. A perfect way to migrate in the mixed mode solution. So there we are. Alan and the team at ICOM UK are waiting to provide the ICOM radio management system solution that your business needs. If you want to find out more, check out the ICOM UK website.